Oh man, God, I hate my fucking upstairs neighbor. All right, so we are in the Standing Stones. Oh, we're in the Standing Stones. This is... Yeah. This is the fabled Standing Stones where the site of the, of the Celt was found and all this seemingly dangerous stuff has uh, been apparent due to the, the fact. So well, we probably should take a little heed here and uh, explore a little bit. This is definitely not the Pirate's Cove. So uh, we do need to listen for um, any secrets that we might find because, I mean, who knows? This is... Uh, Holy shit, we can go underwater too? Oh man, we're, we're bound to miss some amplifiers here. But, uh, I don't know. Something tells me if I don't hear an amplifier, I don't think I need to go check too far out. So we're gonna let the ambience play for a little bit and appreciate the ominous that is the uh, ominous environment that is the Standing Stones. Because this is like a core, core theme and, and uh, location in this game. So uh, let's investigate. These stones are different from the druidic designs. Very nice, the shield spell, and instantly, once again, without an actual text tutorial, um, they teach you how to use it pretty damn quick, that is for sure. How do you use it? Well, anything sh hitting you in the front wise protects you, kind of like those uh, Tresante sorceresses that uh, have that bubble shield in front of them. So uh, we definitely want to amplify this spell because that's only going to make the shield stronger instead of being destroyed in one hit, but as you see, we lost no damage in that fight. So that was fun. Plus the duration probably will certainly increase. Um, but in any case, I still want to equip... I just still want to amplify because I don't like level 1 spells, except for the scry. So we got 7. So let's do... Nah, let's do... 3. 1, 2, 3. Because shield is great. Okay, so we still have... Um, 4 amplifiers. That's totally plenty. So that's, that'll be fine. So let's try the shield out now. As you can see, it's much it's much more invasive and intrusive in the in your uh, in your uh, HUD, but that's because it's a stronger shield. So I do like that there's a slight visual drawback to uh, upgrading your uh, spell. Still, it's totally worth it. And as you can tell, it's already lasted longer. It's totally lasted longer. That's great. So I'm going to guarantee it also uh, endures more damage. So that is fantastic in every way. And uh, getting all of those amplifiers definitely was worth it. I'll say, so I should find a coastal route to the Pirate's Cove. The groundskeepers may be able to help me in my journey. Okay, so this is just a brief um, grab to get a shield spell. Apparently, the uh, getting to the Pirate's Cove is a little bit too treacherous. And, uh, well, the Standing Stones are not too fabled. They're just kind of, as Patrick said, they're unlike Druid standard uh, markings. So let's just go back to the Covenant Estate, I guess. Hmm. And... Like I said, that's funny that we were able to jump from what? We were able to jump from here and land down here and be fine. And where the hell did my boat go? <laughs> you know, oh seriously. God. Oh, God. Oh, we got shields, so no problem. Oh. Hell, we got shields, so no problem. Let's get the scythe out, man. Scythe out. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't even test. You tripped. Oh, you poor boy. You poor baby. You tripped. Oh, oh, that's a shame. That's 
pretty cool, actually. They trip. That, that, that's kind of a little nice touch. I didn't know they could do that. So you can have shield and haste if you uh, time your shit right. Plus, you can reactivate the duration of your shield. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. Look at that. There's a bullet hole in my... Oh, that's awesome. I can take two direct shots in the face. Oh, sorry, sheep. Why are these guys tripping for? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Are they afraid of me? I'd be afraid of Patrick Galloway freaking holding a scythe and uh, having a shield spell. I just had something. You damn right you did. Nice try there to ambush me, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, I just took his arm off. Oh, that's awesome. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, as you can see, amplify just by three points. Well, considering that level five is the highest without the Gelzebar stone. Pretty damn impressive. And what I really like that I just realized that the visual cue that your shield is dissipating, uh, it just slightly it starts to fade away. So you can recharge it and know how close it is to being uh, uh, completely gone or not. Very nice. Oh god. Those gates, man. Those gates. Alright. So that was absolutely excellent. That was... I love it. It's definitely worth looking for those amplifiers. They're extremely strong. Actually, it wouldn't probably wouldn't be a bad idea to amplify the shields by one more, but just uh, just for principle, I won't yet. It could take two shots. I think it's cool that you see a bullet hole. So uh, there should be a groundskeeper, but he's gone. That's what we're looking for. I don't see any. Hmm. Well, we need to find an entrance. Stuck. Ah. Okay. Can we directly leave? If that's the case, then... Well, that's really curious. Do you know if there's a cove in the area? I'm not familiar with any cove. However, old Sidgwick, who maintains the lighthouse, is as old as the sea itself. If anyone knows this area... It'd be him. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, a lighthouse keeper. Bound to know some, uh, or a pirate's code would be hidden, of course. I should have known. Make sure we're, just, we're not missing any scry points here. You never know. Yeah, and up. Oh, oh, okay. Let's go to the ruins. Oh, would you look at that? Music. Let's just listen to it. That's most likely what the lighthouse keeper is going to give us. Something tells me. And thank you for haste, man. Definitely awesome. And like I said, I like that. Level 1 spell is very default, but as soon as you amplify it by like 2 points, you immediately see a big change in like every spell. Except for Scry. <clears throat> I'm almost certain that Scry only increases the duration by like a minuscule amount. And it might lower mana cost if you don't have the Gelzabar stone equipped. But uh, for the most part, you do have it equipped, so... Nah. Okay, enough of my uh, OCD explore exploration, but as you know, as you know, this game rewards you for it, and I love that fact. One of the reasons why this game is so great, and the atmosphere is just enthralling. I absolutely just am in love with it. Okay, so, Patrick, as you, well, you are an angry man. You are an angry man. As I do some gentle exploring, if nothing's going on by the time I make it somewhere, um, just for a little locked sea chest key, interesting. Locked. I uh, would like to point out the fact that I have just received a motherboard for my new computer build. That if my brother, my older brother, should be watching this, he he shall now he'll now know that uh, 
Um, he now is the, in the possession of my current computer that I'm currently playing on dying on, and he'll love it. And I will be using my new one. So uh, that's the milestone of when this happened. Although you won't know what time that is, and I'm not going to indicate what time it is, just so you don't know <laughs> how advanced this recording is. Oh yeah, nature of my nature of my work. Back to the game. I pretty much got all back my health pack, so that's nice. Oh, I just love those soft wind sounds. Like whoever is like the sound engineer is a genius. I just freaking. Beautiful. Sounds like you're on a coast, a coastal lighthouse. I can tell you're not one of them teeth and Trasanti, nay. So, who be you? I'm a friend of Jeremiah Covenant. Jeremiah, eh? Is he still alive? Last I saw him months ago, the face of death was on him. He's better in. Would I never know why how deserted the Covenant grounds have been? Only what I see prowling round a Trasotti scum. How do they get on the grounds? I hope them to. The only reason I'm still alive is because those thugs need me to mend a lighthouse. This is a treacherous inlet with all the fog, you know. And since the bridge back to the mainland's been destroyed, the Trasanti need me to keep their boats from crashing up on the cliffs. Call me Sedgwick. Are you alone here? No, I am. Them thieves killed me only son Connor when he tried to drive him off. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Do you have any idea where these thieves are hiding out? Judging by the fair amount of Trasanti patrols I've seen by the caves upon the coast a bit. I'd see their hideouts nearby. Sounds dangerous, but I've got no choice. Things will only get worse if they're not stopped. I bet Ambrose is there too. Maybe if I can get to him, the Trasanti won't have any reason to be here. Ambrose, eh? Come to think of it, I may have seen him lurking about. But that's not good news for Jeremiah, I say. As I record, there was these tunnels that went from the shore up into them cliffs. Right up to this old garrison perched on top. My father kept me from playing up there by sealing off the tunnels with an iron door he kept locked. I wonder if the key might be in his old sea chest. Where is this chest? In me living quarters. Is that a working gun you have there? Maybe. Why do you ask? Those Trasanti robbed me of everything including me revolver. They didn't find me grandfather's stuff though. Including some silver bullets he got in the merchant marines. He believed them superstitions and say you can kill werewolves and evil creatures with them. Considering some of the weirdness going on here, those bullets might come in handy. I know they're in the chest, so here. Take this key to my living quarters and have a look, see. Thanks. I appreciate your help. The more of them bastards you kill, the better. The way they killed my son, oh, it's the least I can do. He closed the door on me. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, seafaring lighthouse keeper, your son was Connor, who we know from the journal entry Ambrose killed because Connor didn't share uh, the unethical standards that Ambrose wanted for the Pirate's Cove and uh, the Manor's secrets. So, um, at, at, at the same rate, these silver bullets, if this is the first time the game is trying to directly explain silver bullets to you, then you are really bad at exploration. <laughs> so, there they are. But silver bullets are extremely rare, as I have not used a single bullet, and I now have 60, which is going to prove to be quite helpful. And as you see, I'm saving them for a tough creature-like enemies, is what I'm saving those for. No reason to use them, as I have no problem with any uh, enemies so far. Now, however, uh, it's funny, I totally would have used them on Lisbeth, but I didn't know that you had to select them and actually use the inventory key uh, to switch the bullets. I thought you just had to have them highlighted like the health here, but I should have known better. But it was a blessing in disguise. So we shall avenge Connor by beheading all the Tassante that, uh... ...should stand in my way. Okay, so we are now in level 3 proper, and that is totally out of my ass. 
like I said, level one is the manor, level two is uh, Elizabeth's entire section. And then level three, well, I consider this. So there's probably only like, in that case, in terms of game length, for it gives you an idea, I think, I'm gonna say there's probably like six or seven levels. But as you know, level <laughs> level three was, well, uh, level two was like four episodes of 20 minutes. Uh, it takes a little bit. So, with that out of the way, we get a new look. This uh, very nice um, seafaring dark nighttime tone. Very nocturnal and uh, oh hey there time for some sneaking and some shield and some beheading let's do it <laughs> holy shit god he shot fast Jesus I didn't expect that oh god Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, I'm getting plus 100 hit points! Jesus! Oh, that's cool! I just completely eviscerated that guy! That was uh, astoundingly awesome! That was really cool! <laughs> Jesus! Ah, that must be the hideout to the Pirate's Cove. Just a little bit of a, a garrison. And uh, beforehand, though, I'll pick up these useless Molotovs that we have full up on. Ugh, hate those things. Absolutely wretched little devices. And very bad grenades in this game, and they are not needed. But boy, does that shield go away quick. I think I might actually amplify this to one more level, just, just because it's it seems like it's calling for it. I might as max it out as best as I can. Actually, it is maxed out if I do that, and I just have to use a Galdabar stone to get the full effect. Uh, what did I just do? Oh, I just changed it. Okay. Bam! There we go. And, uh, Gels of Barstone, let's try the full effect here and see what we got. Woo! That's crazy. Okay. Huh. Alright, so... 